Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We're going to wait a little bit and let everyone sign on. All right, so it looks like we have the majority of people signed on. I'm gonna unmute all of you for right now, but um, it'd be great to see a little bit of you guys, like just say hi. <laughs> Hi. 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 Hi, Calvin. Hey, everybody. Hi, Stuart. Hi, Hi, Stuart. Hi, everyone. Hi. I don't know if uh, they're on yet, but I'd like to introduce my grandchildren. Uh, Audrey and Aiden, are uh, you there yet? Audrey's here. Can you see us? No. Can you turn on your screen? <laughs> I don't, oh, okay. All right. Okay. Oh, there. <laughs> That's Audrey. Uh, <laughs> Over here. Over. Over. She's hiding. <laughs> Pick Bubber. them up. Bubber. 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 And, Bubber. and my niece, uh, my two nephews, uh, Calvin and Alden, are on too. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. <laughs> That's Calvin <laughs> and Alden. <laughs> Calvin's here. Calvin's here. Oh, thank oh, you. Audrey. Very cute. Thank you. That is so great. I'm so glad that we can see everyone. So let's get started. So thank you everyone for joining us for our first ever Storytime with Stuart and hopefully not our last. My name is Michi Liu and I'll be moderating today and providing some technical support. I know most of you know that today is Cinco de Mayo. But did you know that we're also celebrating another holiday? Um, in Japan, it's actually Koromo no Hi, which is Children's Day. So we thought it was very fitting to uh, host a story time with Stuart on Children's Day and celebrate all of our children. Because in Japan, it is a national holiday to celebrate and wish for the health and good fortune of all children. Stuart will be reading two books today, Dim Sum for Everyone by Grace Lynn and What Makes Us Unique, our first talk about diversity by Dr. Julian Roberts. We will end our story time with some questions and answers. So if any of you have any questions that you would like us to incorporate them, feel free to send them in the chat. So I'm gonna turn this over to Stuart. Well, thank you. Uh, Michi and Jeff had this wonderful idea uh, of telling uh, stories, and it gives me an opportunity to wear my t-shirt, Asian Americans Advancing Justice t-shirt, so uh, let's, let's get started. Um, I really want to thank uh, the author of the, uh, this book, um, Dim Sum for Everyone. Uh, the author is Grace Lynn, and also the publisher is uh, Random House, uh, Random House uh, Penguin, Random House. So uh, we wanted to thank them. And so we have some slides on the Dim Sum for Everyone. You can see it's uh, the dragon 
Fly Books is the local publisher too. And so um, Grace sends these uh, books out to uh, people who are eating at dim sum restaurants. So that's cool. Uh, dim sum has many little dishes. Little dishes on carts, little dishes on tables. Mama picks little dishes of sweet pork buns. Baba chooses little dishes of fried shrimp. Jeje wants turnip cakes. And Maymay wants sweet tofu. The author likes little egg tarts. And my favorite is siomai and hakao. I've eaten so many over the years, I can't, I can't count them. We eat a little bit of everything. If you look at this table, by the way, some public health officials told me, make sure you have the six feet social distancing and use separate chopsticks for serving and separate chopsticks for eating because we uh, need to maintain our uh, social distancing and good health practices in the coronavirus period. Everyone eats a little bit of everything. You could still do that to, and keep your social distancing and using separate chopsticks. Now there are empty little dishes. I wanted to read a little bit from the book. Sorry, you can't see all the print, but uh, we just wanted to read from the book. Before dim sum became widespread, yum cha or tea drinking was an important part of Chinese culture. People would visit tea houses after a hard day's labor and socialize with each other and their family members and friends. Tea houses began to serve small dishes of food for customers to snack on while they drank their tea. These small dishes of dumplings, cakes, and buns were called dim sum. Soon dim sum became more popular than the tea. Dim sum translates in many ways. Some translate it as touches the heart from point, dim, and heart, sum, because customers point and choose whichever dishes their hearts desire. Others believe dim sum means little heart because the dishes served are so small. The dim sum tradition was brought over to the Western world in the mid 19th century. As well as tea houses, we now have busy dim sum restaurants. Unfortunately, I must add that some of my favorite dim sum restaurants in Los Angeles have closed down, like Empress Pavilion. But anyway, uh, there are many little customs of yum cha and dim sum. For instance, when your teapot is empty, and I have, uh, Pat found a teapot, and I need to introduce my uh, wonderful wife, Pat, who's in the background here. Uh, when the teapot is empty, you leave it open, and it's a sign to the waiter or wait waitress that you need a new pot of tea or hot water. To thank the waiter, you tap three fingers, on the table and don't worry if the staff doesn't take away your dirty dishes after your meal is finished the waiter will count them to calculate your bill remember three fingers tapped on the table is saying thank you to the waiters families and friends still crowd into dim sum restaurants all over the world there amid the rolling trolleys and the bustling atmosphere people talk gossip and share just as they did so many years ago. Of course, with the coronavirus, things will slow down for a while, but hopefully they'll come back to normal in a, in a few months. So this is the uh, book, it's a cute little book. And thanks to Pat for helping me find a teapot. 
Now, uh, the book I want to read is What Makes Us Unique? Our first talk about diversity. And this book was, uh, as uh, Michi said, was written by D Dr. Julian Roberts, illustrated by Cindy Revel. And the publisher is Orca Book Publishers from Canada. So we thank them. So in the first page, in nature, a rainbow is made beautiful by its different colors. And just like that rainbow, the world is made beautiful because it's filled with many different kinds of people. What makes us different? People are different or unique in many ways. Some of these differences are things we can see on the outside. People have different eye colors. They have different hair colors. They have different skin colors. People come in many different shapes and sizes too. They can be tall or short, big or small. People also move, learn, and communicate in different ways. Some people use a wheelchair to get around. Some people need a guide dog to be their eyes and ears. Some people talk to each other using sign language. Other differences are harder to see because they are on the inside. For instance, some people feel more comfortable alone or in small groups, while others like to be in big crowds. We should always try to understand and respect people's different ways of being in the world. What about different cultures? Culture is a word we use to describe the shared attitudes, practices, and beliefs of a certain group of people. Because there are many different cultures around the world, people speak different languages and practice different religions. They also participate in different kinds of traditions and celebrations. What about differences at home? People have different kinds of families. Some families have both a mom and a dad. Others have one mom or dad, or two moms or dads. Some children may be raised by a grandparent, step-parent, or other loving caretaker. Some families live together, and others live in separate homes. Are there other kinds of differences? Yes, many. People have different kinds of jobs. People live in different kinds of homes and wear different kinds of clothes. People eat different kinds of food and take part in different activities or hobbies. There are also different ways people show love and take care of each other. What do these differences mean? Because each of us is unique, we may not always agree with or understand someone else's beliefs or choices. We may not like to dress the same way, eat the same food, or take part in the same kinds of activities. Even though there are things that make each of us different, we are all equally important. We all deserve love, respect, and compassion, regardless of what we look like or how we live our lives. The truth is, we are much more alike than we are different. We all want to learn, we all want to laugh and grow and explore. We all want to spend time with our families, be loved and make friends. We all want to be treated nicely by the people around us. The world becomes a much more beautiful place when we celebrate what we have in common and what makes us unique. Just a few more questions from the book. Why do some differences make us feel scared or nervous? Sometimes differences make us uneasy because they are new to us or we don't understand them properly. Talking about our differences is a good way to make them less scary. 
and thinking about all the things that make us the same can help too. The next time you meet someone who seems really different from you, try thinking about all the things you have in common as well as what's unique. What about people of different sexual orientations? Sexual orientation refers to who we are attracted to. Girls can be attracted to boys or girls, and boys can be attracted to boys or girls. It's important to treat people with respect and kindness, regardless of their gender or who they are attracted to. We all have the right to be ourselves and love whomever we want. What are racism and prejudice? Racism is the belief that people of different races are somehow better or worse than others. A racist person might act in a hateful way or treat someone differently because of the color of his skin. Prejudice, sometimes called stereotyping, is having a negative attitude toward or belief about someone based on her race or other traits like gender, religion, age, class, body type, sexual orientation, or ability. It is never okay to act in a way that is racist or prejudiced, which is also known as discrimination. If you see someone being treated unfairly or bullied because they are different, you should speak up and tell an adult you trust. What makes us unique? Thank you, Michi and Jeff for choosing these two books. Thanks, Stuart. I hope all of you guys enjoyed those two stories. So if you have any questions, again, put them in the chat and we'll try to incorporate them as much as possible. But we do have some questions already that we would like to ask Stuart. So he had already mentioned his favorite dim sum dishes, hagao and shumai. What is your favorite memory involving dim sum, Stuart? Well, my memories really go to my parents and Pat's parents. Uh, my parents-in-law uh, used to have dim sum lunches all the time. It was the, it was the time where our extended family all came together. And what I kept track of is all the new additions, all the new children, uh, nieces, nephews, grandchildren, and it was a lovely time to see everybody getting together. I also have a trick. Uh, as people know, I've had a lot of meetings at my office and in my office, and I, you, we go to CBS takeout, and I'd get them a lot of good dim sum. And people didn't mind coming to meetings at my office because they knew they would always have good dim sum. So that was a trick I, I pulled over the years. It, it, and, and it has worked. <laughs> yes, that is true. We have seen a lot of dim sum in the office. <laughs> Do you have a favorite restaurant? Maybe one that's still open? <laughs> Well, I like to go to CVS restaurant in Chinatown because they have a takeout and they also have a sit-in. Unfortunately, I'm sure with the coronavirus, they've had a hard time, but they have a takeout section. So I, I would often go there. CVS. And going a little bit more into the second book, have you ever experienced racism? Uh, many times people have said, uh, called me racial epithets. I remember a young man was going on the opposite right, uh, side of the street driving his truck, and I beeped because he was going to crash into me. And he called me a racial epithet and said, go back to your country. And uh, obviously this is our country, but uh, you know there have been many instances where I've had that unfortunate experience and I know all of you have had that experience where people have said oh uh, go back to your home country or your English is um, is good uh, but uh, you know we always have that experience where people either out of ignorance 
or racism uh, treat us differently? You have always been known as a social justice advocate. What are you during, doing during this time? Well, as people know, we have uh, worked with a lot of groups combating anti-Asian violence in this time period. Uh, we're a member of APCON. We're a member of different organizations that are fighting. So we have a, a strategy to resist the attacks. Uh, some are serious, like stabbings or beatings. Some are verbal. Uh, so we want to help the victims uh, get as many people to report the cases as possible. And we really want to build coalitions. So non-Asians, I've reached out to unions, to African-American and Latino groups, and they all have uh, unified to say we oppose these attacks on Asians. The second strategy is we want to show uh, Americans that we're all in this together, that we're fighting the common virus uh, together. And so we want to uplift the role of grocery workers, nurses, doctors, researchers, all together. People who are contributing like the Committee 100. I was in a town hall with a thousand people on Sunday with uh, Asia Society and they've been contributing as well. And finally, I think we need to spread the good lessons from uh, the Asian countries that have faced this uh, epidemic first. Uh, one, one example shortly is, you know, now everybody's supposed to wear a face mask. And in the United States, we adopted that in late March. Whereas the Asian countries were saying, everybody should wear a face mask way back in January. So we have a lot to learn. And so we've been doing that. Um, the governor also asked us, uh, this is on top of our normal work. So our staff are working remotely. So 60 people are, re re are working remotely. So we still get domestic violence calls. We still get immigration calls. We still get citizenship calls. I just want to point out is uh, Pat is working very hard on the PBS special, which is coming off, out on May 11th and 12th, next Monday and Tuesday at 8, 8 p.m. And we, she is in charge of preparing 36 lesson plans. So if you miss the show or if you like the show and you want the curriculum, we'll have the curriculum ready for years to come. It'll be on our website as well as the PBS Learning website. So uh, look for the PBS special next Monday and Tuesday. So you briefly explained a little bit about what Advancing Justice is doing, but can you go uh, maybe talk a little bit more about what Advancing Justice is doing during this time? So, you know, we are, uh, because of the social distancing, we have had to ever have everybody work at home. So people are working. We're still hiring people. Uh, like I said, you know, we, everything is remote. So. Uh, like our five Asian language line, they're getting calls and then they return the calls. Um, we still have our education work, our uh, domestic violence work, our citizenship work. So all of those are still going on. We still have some volunteers, but without the office being open, we can't incorporate as many volunteers. Eric wants to know, what's a good way to make new friends with different people at a new school? I think that talking up and not being shy is very important. I know at different times in my life, I was a little shy. And you just had to, I, I took after my parents, my mother and father, because it, it's hard to say that they were shy. So you just have to speak up and say hello, be friendly, and you know, meet people, greet people, say hello to people. I think that's the first step because otherwise you, you, people think if you're, even though they, you may be shy, if you don't say anything to anybody and you don't greet people, people may think that you're stuck up or conceited or, uh, you, you don't want to meet them. So uh, 
uh, I think you have to break down the shyness and say hello. Say hello to individual people so that they know you're a friendly person. Good advice, Stuart. Do we have any other questions from anyone? I know Pat is asking the kids if they have favorite dim sum dishes or if they like going out to dim sum. So if you guys want to answer that in the chat, feel free to. Here's my teapot. <laughs> I need water. <laughs> well, looks like we don't have any more questions, but does anyone have any questions that they may want to ask? Oh, you have a question? Okay, what's your question? Yeah. Hi. Please stop it. Hi, G. Hi, Aiden. Say hi. 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 <laughs> what are your favorite hi. things? Hi. Hi. Yes, the what are your favorite things? <laughs> Ria, what's your favorite dim sum? <laughs> oh, Stella says she likes chicken dumplings. Uh, chicken. My oh. favorite dessert is um, ice cream. Oh, your favorite dessert <laughs> is ice cream? <laughs> 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 oh, I'm going to make that. I just made this thing. Looks like some oh, of the, it looks like the book. <laughs> I, I wanted to thank Jing, my daughter in law, for bringing on Audrey and Aiden. Hi, Jing. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Okay, guys, it seems like we don't have any more questions, and we're so glad that you were able to join us for our first yeah. ever. Mm -hmm. see it go. We hope that um oh, we can see you again. Get so, mm -hmm. I don't want to see you. So we're hoping that we can do this again and we're going to ask, we'll send out a link to um to all of you to get some suggestions for other books that you may want to hear us reading. So we would love to have feedback from you all. So look out for our link. We're going to send you guys a follow-up um, questionnaire, just like how we sent you um, the Zoom link. So thank you for joining us. Bye. Thank you all very much. <laughs> thank you. Nice seeing you all.